Everyone, my dear parishioners and friends, uh, we gather our Father Alfie's table, uh, where these are the times where we have to be uh, attentive. Uh, we need to stay home, and so may as well stay home and do some cooking. So, as a present for my parishioners, a treat, I would like to show you how I make tiramisu. Um, so we're going to have basic ingredients, which is 250 grams of sugar and 500 grams of mascarpone cheese and six eggs. And then coffee, which I will make it coffee in this, we call this, um, in it, we call it cafetiera but uh, in English it's called mocha and uh, very simple, we just put water and coffee and then we let it brew and then lady fingers, okay? Cannot have any ordinary uh, cookies, has to be lady fingers and those are the lady fingers and then um, those are the essential ingredients then there are debates about what uh, uh, secret ingredients we can use um, I know that what I use, given from my mom's recipe, is a kaula, is a good liqueur that goes with coffee as well as Irish cream together with the coffee. And then uh, Gramarnier is should be the, 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 the official um, liqueur that goes on top of the little fingers. But I use orange brandy because it tastes the same. If you blind me, and with two glasses of Gramanier and orange brandy, I cannot tell the difference, honestly. Uh, the only difference I know is that this is half the price, and so I use orange brandy. Now, let's begin. Coffee. So what I do is, in the cafetiera or mocha, I put water in the bottom. water here and then coffee let's do this one two three four maybe four and a half we press a bit we close it Right on the fire. While the coffee is going, we'll do the eggs. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the white in here because we have to beat them, and then the yolk here, covered with sugar. So we'll start off. So here we have six yolk. The white is here. We're going to beat it. So we'll just put it on the machine. out first. And put this up. Lock it and we'll go. And we'll let it go. It may take maybe five, ten minutes. Coffee is now ready. So we'll let it 
coffee. Nice and hot, so we're going to take this. And we'll keep the coffee winding here. And also, as you can see, the white of the eggs is basically done. And it has to be foamy, like you probably already know. Nice and foamy. So at this point, we will put the mascarpone cheese right inside the white that has been and we fold it together kind of gently you see that everything starts to get together Slowly, slowly, gently. Mm -hmm. Get the mascarpone cheese get more soft because of the eggs, more airy, airy. Okay. So at this point, we got yolks and the sugar, and we'll put all the sugar in the yolk, and we'll beat them and becomes nice and creamy. It won't take long, eh? Just a little bit of the muscles. Okay, now these two should go together, one on top of the other one. Let's not waste anything of this delicious cream. And the cream of the yolks goes in the white. And let's try to get everything out of it. When I was a child, I used to lick this, but I avoid it right now for the sake of decency. And then slowly, slowly, we fold this. We don't beat it, we fold it. The reason why we don't beat it hard now, otherwise it gets, it breaks through and becomes too liquidy. And we want to keep it creamy, dense, like this. So this is not beating, it's folding it. See? So it will keep doing it until the white and the yellow becomes amalgamated into one. In the meantime, we'll let it sit a bit. Now, coffee. As I said, we're gonna use Kaula, crack it open, it's brand new, tastes good, and we'll put it a little bit. There is no, this is all your choice, you know, a bit more, a bit less, according to your taste. Uh, Irish cream, same thing. Mmm. You see, it got a nice cream on it. I'll keep this at the end. I'll put it sprinkle on the top. I don't want to mix it in the coffee. So what we're gonna do now is make sure this is nice and blended. Okay. I'm gonna get a spoon. Just to mix the coffee a little bit. Many fingers, just dip it in. One and two. 
not too much, otherwise get too soft. And we lay down the cookies and we have to do one at a time and do create one layer on the bottom. the orange brandy and just sprinkle it on the top like that accordingly to your taste mmm tastes good okay now what we're gonna do is put the cream so this is the consistency of the cream see and it's kind of a just go like that okay look at that and that's the first layer. We're going to do two layers. See? This is the first layer. And then back to the cookies and do the second layers. One. And two. And now you can stop if you want. And here we have the last cookie. So that's the space we are breaking them in half. And one goes here and one goes here. So this is done. Put this away. So what we're gonna do now, another sprinkle of orange brandy. And of course, for these ingredients, the alcohol part, you can use I know people use rum, some people use whiskey, some people will cognac, a cognac is a good one too. Um, that's uh, what I use is a cola, Irish cream for the coffee and the orange brandy on top, like this. So the cookie now is absorbing, right? It's like a sponge, absorb the coffee, absorb the alcohol. And now the last layer of cream on top of it like that okay we almost reached the brim of the container we call it now this one is good to lick it after so I'll save it for myself okay so this is almost done now one suggestion is that when I make it if I make it two or three I will put them in the freezer like this with a, a chair of fan or something nice covered um, I usually use a bigger one also so that there is some space so you can put the chair of fan not now because right at the uh, at the edge of it um, Cocoa is the last finishing touch that you put when you serve, okay? When you serve, before you serve it. So right now, if you wanna put this in the freezer, you just cover it and then put it in the freezer. Then you take it out in the morning for the evening, if you're gonna use the evening, let us sit all day in the fridge or a few hours outside. And then before you serve, you have the cocoa pure cocoa, okay? And I use the strainer to make it nice and thin, like this. Et voila! And tiramisu is done. Right? Not cooking, no baking, just the coffee has to brew. So now there is a question, uh, we call it the existential question of the moment because every moment in our life has a question that is essential. In order to live life in its intensity, in its beauty, we need to always constantly ask the question, a question, an existential question. Every moment of our life has an existential question. The question of this moment, existential question of this moment is, will this be good or not? 
And there is only one way to answer this question, and the, the way is to taste it. So a little spoon, and let's go deep in here. It is better to let it sit, so the cookie can absorb, you know, with time all the, the cream and the coffee. But we need to taste it to see if it turns out good. So this is a piece. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 Ah. Mmm. I would like you to taste a bit, but you have to make it at home. God bless you.